Hi everybody, it is Thursday. I hope you're having a great week so far. This week's Thursday Thought, I wanted to talk about disclosures. So in most jurisdictions, when you go to buy a house, you are provided a set of disclosures from the seller. So as a seller, it's imperative that you fill these out correctly, and we can certainly talk about that, and we do, during our listing presentation and when we're signing all of our listing paperwork. As a buyer, why do you want them? What should you be looking for, and what are they for? What are they to provide? So let's start where there are fewer disclosures, and that's in Virginia. In Virginia, it's a buyer beware state. So you're given a set of disclaimers, basically. They state you're buying a house. Here are the things you, you should consider, you should look for, and make sure that you do a thorough inspection of everything that's important. Now, if there's something material, a material defect to the house, and the seller knows it, yes, the seller does have to disclose that to you. But other little things that you might get disclosed in another jurisdiction, sellers in Virginia don't have to disclose. So, what do we do? The most important thing is a home inspection. It will tell you as much information as we can find out without you living in the home, frankly. We'll look at the roof, check the appliances. We've talked about home inspections before. So it's important in Virginia because you're not even given any upfront information. Let's move over into the district. You get a lot more information. There are several um, documents that you get from a seller in DC, and those are mandated. And they cover areas that I like to call this, and it makes it really easy to remember. Where is it? What is it? What's included? What's the condition? And do you have any lead paint? So where is it? You'll get a jurisdictional addendum that will state it's in the District of Columbia. Here's the soil that it sits on, and it'll talk a little bit about property taxes. Where is it? What is it? Is it a condo, a co-op, or in an HOA? If it is, you'll get this disclosure. It'll disclose your monthly fee, any special assessment, what does that fee cover, and outline all the documents that you will get once under contract that you'll get to go through uh, related to the condo association. Where is it? What is it? What's included? You'll get an inclusions and an exclusions document. This will show you everything that conveys with the house, from the washer and the dryer to the dishwasher to the blinds on the windows and anything else that the seller would like to convey to the new owner. If there's something they don't want to give you, their grandmother's chandelier, let's say, that should be listed in the exclusions part of that document. Where is it? What is it? What's included? What's the condition? The longest disclosure you get is about a seven or eight page seller disclosure. And it goes through anything and everything from the roof to was the property damaged by flood, wind, or fire uh, to is, is there any asbestos in the house that you know of in the um, insulation? All kinds of great information that they have to disclose to you on the condition of the home. Lastly, does it have any lead paint? This is a federal requirement. Any home built prior to 1978 is probably had lead paint somewhere in the house in its history, exterior, interior. So almost every house, if you think about it, in the District of Columbia, certainly a lot of them, get this federal lead disclosure. And then the district has a federal lead disclosure as well. And it will disclose to you if they know of any lead paint in the home. So those are our seller disclosures. I'd love to talk with you more about them. Um, before we go out searching for a house, I'm happy to give you blank documents so that you can see what these disclosures look like. And then once we get serious about a house or two, a condo or two, you'll certainly get to review the disclosures that accompany that property. They get acknowledged by you as the buyer and sent in with your offer and become part of the contract. So that's a little primer on disclosures. If you have any questions about that or anything else related to real estate, or if you have a topic for Thursday Thought, please email me, call me, text me. I'd love to hear from you about what is important for you to know about the real estate market, the buying and the selling process. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you next Thursday, if not before.